No, Why? and that's what I was. Th- I knew there was going to be uncomfortable people, whether they're homophobic, <laughs> whether they don't, they know what the fuck's going on mm-hmm. or whatever. And I'm a polarizing little bitch. So I was like, I love this. <laughs> I was like, this is like what, it, I like, what I want. That's what I wanted. This, baby G. I wanted it, right? It Never too shy. We're having a lot of conversation off the air. So we had to put it on the air. Otherwise, I don't know. Just hit, hit record, start rolling. If, so if we kept the raw stuff, imagine. Ooh. Can we introduce? Let's introduce minutes. ourselves, guys. I, Are we recording? I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah. How rude of me. I'm Paulina. I'm Tati. I'm Nestor. Yes, and we are. And producer Marco's here. He'll never say hello though until you. What are we gonna tell say? Tell him to say hello. Are you gonna say we are never too shy? Yeah, we are never we too are. shy. <laughs> never too shy. Yeah. I don't know who the hell we are, but we are never too shy. Yeah. We ain't yes, shy. We are not shy. So yes, welcome to our episode. We were talking a little bit off the air, and uh, there's a lot of stuff that we need to unpack here as a family. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think that's there, what we're doing. We got some problems in the family. We got beef in the family. Every family has their problems. We got beef within the family. There's cheese me that I didn't even know was going Wait. down. Is there? Yeah, yes. Marco got beef oh, with oh, Alina. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah, start. Oh, wait, affirmations yeah, 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 and then yeah. beef. Yes, we'll yeah, start we'll with our affirmations. affirmations. Who wants to go first? I have a couple of them if you guys want. Oh, to cool. So if, just couple. so you guys know, if I go on my phone, it's because I'm like writing stuff down because these girls always come prepare and I oh, sometimes okay. don't. So I just, okay, Karen. I just want to admit, <laughs> I'm not Karen. Who's Karen? No, not like a carrot. No, not anyway, it's whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> mean girls. Um, which one should I do? Okay. Number three. I'll which do... one speaks to you? Number three. <laughs> I have one to do. Well, I have this first one. Okay, so this relates to I'll just read it. Okay, so this is for people that feel like they've been in the same place. Um so my friend, I so, saw you know, I started working out. I don't know if you guys know this, but yeah. I started working out. And the uh, have I said this? I hope I hopefully yeah, I did say this. Oh no, that you work out. That's no, no, no. Okay, so this is for the people that only for the people that say like, why am I still in the same place? Why am I oh. still in the same place? So mm. I had a little like uh, moment of what's it called like epi- epiphany. Yeah, you know how you say it. Um, so I was with my friend slash gym trainer, which you know, Mike. Yes. Um, and so my girl walks in right, and she's she was telling us. She was asking my my friend slash uh, trainer, like, uh, just advice on how to lose more weight. And she said, like, I know her and she literally lost like 40 pounds. But now oh. she's plateaued. She's like, I've been doing the same thing. Right. And I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. And then, you know, epiphany occurred in my mind. I'm like, well, you're doing the same thing, girl. You're not doing something different. You know what I mean? She's she was telling me uh, like her routine and part of her routine was that she only does 20 minutes on the stairs, you know, or 20 minute cardio. Mm. So I told her my both my both my my trainer and myself were like, why don't you try doing like an hour of cardio? And basically all that to say that sometimes like we expect like a different result into something that we keep doing the same thing. You know what I mean? And so. If you want a different result, do something different. You know what I mean? I love that. I so love that's it. That's my information. That. I needed to hear that. I love that. That's yeah. beautiful. Wait, girl, you're pregnant, so you're good. I, I mean, you know, we got work to do after this. After, yeah. yeah. I'm going to be for real. Yes. You're whatever. As long as mommy and baby are healthy. Yeah. Oh, That's you. priority. Yes. Um, mine is kind of this realization I had because of like somebody said something. I said something and I got a reaction out of somebody so quick. So my Me, affirmation yes. is relax on your pro on your approach Mm. don't be so intense so i said something right away and like i don't mean to like be in somebody's face and come off as very like but i think i say things and i come off as like kind of bitchy that's who you are and like mean girly but i genuinely didn't mean it that way Mm. and i said it and somebody was like whoa that came off on some crazy shit like tone it down and i was like what do you mean? This is me tone. Like, I was like, no, if you would have known the crazy and they're like, okay, you just sound even crazier now. So I think I need to be a little bit mindful to just kind of tone it wait, down wait, a bit. Well, can you, can you elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah, Cause I made a comment. I made a comment. No, 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 on no how, what it was. Oh, okay. I'm saying on your response, like, because I want, I would want to see that, like, cause I know what they're talking about, but like, what was exactly, 
what was going on inside of you when someone checked you on that? I, I like to kind of took a step back. And when they're like, that's like disrespectful that you're kind of aggressive, like you're tense. I was like in my head, literally verbatim. And I said it out loud. I was yeah. like, you thought that was disrespectful? Ooh. Like what I really like would want to say is disrespectful, but I didn't. And so like for me, I was like, that was just me actually like patting my back. Like, wow, you handled it well me thinking I handled something yeah. well and somebody was like, no, that kind of came off like very disrespectful, bitchy, aggressive. Yeah. And I thought I was like, cool. Yeah. So I think I just need to check myself a little bit more because people who don't know me well may see that and be like, oh, mean girl energy, attention. you know, that I'm really aggressive and I'm really not. No, you're honestly, I think one of the, I, what I, I called you something the other day to somebody. I was like, you're like oh, a very loyal ass friend. Like you're mm. a very good friend. Um, I definitely think you're a girl's girl. So it's sad that people would think that. But I guess energy speaks. And why, like, if that's why, how they perceive it. Why is it sad though? I don't think it's sad. To be labeled a mean girl just because of Not how people perceive your energy? I think to be, to be told like you're being really direct to them. Well, the words mm, were we disrespectful, listen. aggressive. And then they said, oh, I, yeah. they said I sound crazy. Oh, yeah. The worst words you can tell. Literally. literally. They're like, yo, Wait, that came off. That you? Yeah. He's oh. like, yo, you came off mad aggressive, disrespectful, and like kind of crazy. So then my response to that, when I was like, you thought that was disrespectful? You don't know what I really want to say. And then he's like, okay, right. now you sound crazy. Because I, I think my <laughs> like my perception of, of Tati, and I think it's something that, I mean, it's nothing that we hide, is that I think she's very direct. Yeah. And she can come across. I can see their point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially a guy, a straight guy. Yeah. Um, saying that. Mm -hmm. So, but also I understand that if it was another guy, it probably wouldn't be perceived the same way. You know That's what I'm true. saying? But even if a woman said it, I'd be pissed off. I hate that. I hate when being direct is associated with being those yeah. words. Yeah. And I hear that all the time. And I don't know. I'm just saying a lot of white women don't get labeled that. Ooh. But but they don't. But I think sometimes, like for me, for example, when like me growing up, mm -hmm. my mom is such the opposite of that. Yeah. And so yeah. sometimes, Most of us like, are. yeah, sometimes, um, timid or submissive. <laughs> what it, what about it? Okay, sometimes when you grow up like that, where like your mom yeah. is submissive. When you come across a girl like Tati, it's like, dang, girl, you're crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 100%. But the crazy it, thing it's is... It's not because she's crazy. It's no, no, but the crazy thing about that is my mom is 10 times more direct than me and crazier than me. Yeah. My grandma and my mom are the complete opposites. Like, what you're saying, like, oh, you're different than... Me. That's my mom and my grandma. But I don't think... I'm in the middle. I'm, like, both of them together. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, if you think this is aggressive, talk to my mom. But it isn't because you're actually crazy. Like no, right? I I've seen like very soft parts of Tati, mm -hmm. and so where she just, I mean, she also is the only child. So you got you have to keep that in mind. Yeah. So Facts. my thing with her is like now I don't see it like that because I feel like when you build a relationship with anybody, you understand mm -hmm. like people's yeah. personality as opposed to like them being disrespectful, them being crazy. Mm -hmm. It's just their, their personality. But I will say like not to have this guy's back and not to have her back, mm -hmm. but just like, you know, to give perspective. Um, I grew up like that. And so and so what's crazy is like what's really crazy is that my mom is so such a like certain way. And then my sister is like Tati. Like we're like direct. my sister is very direct. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But actually I feel like when I when I have conversations with Tati, you could see the maturity behind her being that way you know what i'm saying like it isn't like she's just being crazy at least not with me it's coming from somewhere that yeah like it's kind of rational in my head yeah she's rational yeah. about her her being direct yeah at, and know? yeah and to bounce off of that really quick too like i think with you being direct in the way that you are i feel like you still hold space for somebody um to have a healthy conversation like if i was to come to you and, and i only say this because like i have someone in my life that is I think she thinks she's direct and she is, but she's very, um, she, she'll never realize this a day in her life, but she gaslights the fuck out of you. Like it happened today. And I was talking to my friend about it and cause I was there, I witnessed Gee. it. And I was like, this is really like this. She's fucking gaslighting. Like 
like you like you cannot say anything to her without like her challenging you back. Mm. Kathy doesn't challenge you back. Mm. She'll challenge her if like there's something that's said. She'll mm-hmm. she'll question it, challenge it, whatever. But you hold space, I think, in a respectful way. So I don't like that somebody said that because like mm-hmm. I don't like that's not who you are. And those words are like, in my opinion, fucked up to use on a woman mm-hmm. to call them that. But I still think like if, if let's just say, for example, that person came back to you and was like, oh, shit, like you're so direct, whatever, like blah, blah, blah. I feel like you would respectfully like challenge that or, yeah. or ask them maybe like can you clarify what you mean or whatever right mm-hmm. like, you hold space for that and a lot there's, there's some women who want to be big bad and direct but they they don't know how to hold space um for that conversation i get that i get that you, no. you feel me for yeah sure. yeah and i think you can tell that tati um hmm. that she also wants to be you know how some people are just crazy and they can't even stand themselves you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, for real. Yeah, Some yeah. people. They you can't can t- stand themselves. You could tell that she, like you said, she mm-hmm. is just being direct. She's not like, she. she's comfortable with herself. Oh, yes. I was wondering where you were going. No, like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I understand. I, I, I mean, because we know her, you know. But and that's I, a big part. Yeah, I, I do. I, I can't come ac- I can't see where she would come across, you know. I appreciate you guys having my back. But nonetheless, I actually didn't take like I didn't get offended I didn't get angry which is funny you're calling me aggressive and that and I didn't like that actually made me realize like I don't realize maybe my reactions don't match what I think they do so I'm I check myself not that being passionate or direct is wrong but it's like maybe I did sound a little crazy and Mm. so maybe I need to like kind of like calm down on my approach or watch my approach on things but I didn't get like offended or anything so no, I, I get that. I was going to say something, but then I'm like, let's go on with it. <laughs> <laughs> My affirmation. Um, mine's really quick. It's, um, I think there was like two that I heard today on a podcast. They were kind of cool. Uh, and I, we might have even said this, but like comparison is the thief of joy. Yep, I, yep. Yep, I think you've said it before. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually told my husband, Javi, that today we were at the new house getting stuff together. And I told him like, about someone at my baby shower that we'll get into later too. Like, I felt like he was like, not like sad, but like he looked sad at it. And I was like, why are you sad? And then like, we talked about it later. And I feel like my friend opened up and said like, you know, he feels like a lot of like um, people around him, a lot is happening for everybody. And he doesn't mm. feel that. Oh. And as somebody who used to be in that position, 100%, not that I, there was always a lot going around around me, but it wasn't like, the stuff let's just say everybody else was right well, i do want to talk about that yeah. yeah no we can actually talk about it too like um and i felt like you know I, I felt like he's got his own stuff going on again it may not look like my life or this person's life but i was like you know you still got a lot going on like you know and, and also too it's like i do believe in timing like yeah this isn't maybe your time for this to happen you know mm-hmm. and, and if you want it listen like if that's what you want you're gonna get that mm-hmm. it's just not this moment so you know i just feel like comparing is gonna take away your joy especially when he has a lot of other cool shit going on and i'm just like why are we not focused on that like yeah. that's exciting celebrate big, big that. girl big boy shit like that's awesome. So yeah. I don't know. I just try to like be there for my friends and stuff because I've been on the other side of it and like looking in sometimes like it does suck, you know, you're just like, okay, like that looks really like wonderful. Like I would love that for myself one day, you know, but mm-hmm. I still always felt like I always really was sort of emerged, submerged. I really like dove into like what I was about and what I was doing and like didn't mm-hmm. really like dwell on other people because yeah. I knew my time would come when it was time for it to come. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Everyone's life and, and trajectory is so different mm-hmm. that yeah. you just can't compare. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Producer Marco, really quick, your affirmation. <laughs> um, my affirmation is uh, ain't got no beef, won't be no beef. Ah, okay, here we go. I was waiting for it. Oh, my God. Boxing gloves are out. So, so if you it? haven't realized already, the beef is between Marco and Paulina. I'm a mother. No drama. I, wa- I walked into this, guys. I, I, don't know. I know. This is exciting. So producer Michael has drama. Uh, drama. He has beef with me. It's one sided as <laughs> bing, fuck. Bing, bing. But there's beef, guys. Uh, who so. would really win between me and Paulina? In Come a on. beef battle. In a beef battle. But like, what kind? Like here's, physical, the, the, the physical mouth. <laughs> no, let's be real. I talk shit. You, you, you just would state X, Y, Z all your points, and Paulina would be like, okay. 
Yeah, actually, I don't think I, Paulina would give the energy to like want to go back and forth with you. And actually, oh, you you'll be ready with yeah. the smoke, and Paulina yeah. will be like, actually, you yeah. give her okay. side all the time. So I mean, yeah, yeah you give true. me what? I give her your side. Yeah. Your side, like like he always takes your side. Whatever you think. That is true. That is true. Do have my back, but yeah, I I did a big big fuck up this uh, weekend. But go ahead. What's your beef? My beef is um, so Sundays are family days, and I love to spend. No offense, but like people who say that, I just like chuckle. But okay, go ahead. I'm Every sorry. day should I, be I a love family. Days. One time I asked my friend, I was That's like, Wait, what are you doing on Sunday? And she was like, it's family day. And I was like, further the beef, bro. Further family the beef. days. But I like yeah. how he's so starting I'm like, to. I'm so to sorry. Build, he's, how he's starting to build his case. Yeah. Go ahead. I like right. this. Sorry. So, I know he's building so his case. So Sunday's family We're day. We're in court. It's the only day I have with my daughter. Full day. Oh, and I feel bad for saying that. Okay. And uh, and that's because Saturday and Monday I work and everything. Else. Oh fuck, I feel even worse. So Sunday, unfortunately, when the early early one of the early Sundays of February, <laughs> we decided to. Are you counting Sundays? Is that what you're doing? No, she's counting all her your points. Like all the points. All my go points? ahead, no, go ahead. One of the early so Sundays now. in February went to celebrate my lovely friend Paulina Me. for her amazing new precious <laughs> joy and bundle that she has. Are you building a case for her now? Okay, and go ahead. I was told that I, feel so bad. I was told that it was no kids, which is cool. The I had invite no kids. said no well, I didn't kids. tell you. It was just on the invite. The invite said no kids. No kids. I, first of all, I didn't even read the invite. Let me put I was told by, oh, my bad. by my personal secretary. My bad. My he doesn't read. He just shows up. No, I'm I just show up. The... You're a celebrity. So, I know. Uh, so I was told no kids, which is cool because like I had no kids for my wedding. Yeah. And like low key, kids are annoying as fuck. Like running around. I see what you're saying. Making a bunch of noise, like doing all that. Kids are annoying. So. Honestly, like, yeah. If yeah, I did my I wedding, agree. well, I guess I didn't have kids at my wedding. But yeah, I, I can see why people do no kids. I yeah. did no kids at my wedding. 100% recommend. Someone who's like, well, that means we won't be able to attend. Great. Later. Bye. Yeah. Like, people I'm who not. say that are full of shit. You have months to get a sitter, but okay. I'm like, all right. So we did no kids okay. at my wedding. So I'm like, cool. No problem. We won't do any kids. Yeah. Uh, we'll leave. We'll leave my daughter with my mother-in-law because my mom had surgery. Oh, oh shit. It just keep getting worse, you guys. <laughs> it actually says adults only. Okay. Adults only. 18 plus. So that's 16. It doesn't say that. So it that 16 year old that was in there, fuck that. No, I'm just kidding. I know, right? <laughs> Adults only. But okay, okay. I see what I did. Uh -huh. I walked in and I saw a bunch of kids, and I told Tati and her mom immediately. I'm like, you know what? I'm mad. I'm every single kid I see, I'm gonna bring it the up. The table shook. He went like this. <laughs> <laughs> the they were holding him back. He flipped from the table. Kids. He, he flipped kidding. the table. No, Teresa <laughs> Gudice flipped yeah. the table. Yeah. I did. I almost, I almost flipped all the tables. The he whole almost line. grabbed like, the drag it. queen and threw him out. <laughs> <laughs> right next to Mark. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I feel like shit because I didn't realize all those points and they were very valid points. Yes. And you're so right. Like, like, nine. I'm not gonna, especially if I feel bad, I'm not going to fight. And if I fuck up, I'm not a gaslighter. I will yeah, be like, yeah, I yeah. fucked up. So. But low key, I didn't even have beef with you. I, like, I say I have beef with you. I thought you didn't tell the other people they could bring their kids. Yeah. He so I was more upset with said, them. Forget your rules. Oh, like they're just showing up with their kids. Yeah. They're just like showing up with their kids. I'm like, yeah. that's a dick move. Like, showing up with your kids when yeah. someone asks specifically not to like bring kids like that no. viral video did you guys see it like about a month ago or something no. like it was a wedding and a family showed up with like all their kids and somebody came out was like no you can't come in this wedding yeah. and it was like a cousin or something they're like the invitation says no kids you gotta leave yeah oh my god yeah that's a dick move um okay yes so i am really sorry um because what my intention with that was First of all, it was really like no kids, not even babies, toddlers, newborns in the womb. I'm just kidding. I barely made it. Just no. yours. I, know. I barely did. <laughs> My mom brought her kid. Right. Tati's mom brought her kid. I just because the space that I had was smaller and she I was, was packed. It was so packed. Why? Well, I, I over invited because that's just the Pauline and Hobby way. But I was like, because <laughs> I had less people. And then, of course, more, whatever. Right. And I was like, it's not going to happen. Like, we're not gonna be able to fit people. So I was like, I don't want kids there. And like my in-law, my mom mm. made a point. It's like, it, it's a very different kind of baby shower. But also number two, it was like boozy, brunchy. Like what would a 10 year old really be doing there? To, yeah. to be honest. Right. Um, so mm. I was like, adults only, let's just make it like easier. Cause there's a bunch of like 10 year olds that I know and 11 year olds. And I'm like, we don't need these eight year olds, whatever. Mm. Anyone that requires a seat essentially. Mm. I was like, no. But then I started feeling bad and I was like, some people I know have kids such as yourself. Yeah. Um, I have a couple of friends who have kids under the age of two, right? So I was like, they don't really require a seat. It's just going to be them holding their kid and whatever, right? Kids going to be there passed around, possibly in a stroller, whatever. So I was like hitting up people individually and I was like, hey, like I know it says no kids, but you know, also with like getting a sitter for some of them, it was tough. And like, I know they could have, right? A hundred percent. But I was like, fuck it. I was like, you can bring your kid. I'm like, and I told him too in the message, I just didn't want the older kids there because they're going to be bored. Taking and up space. That's, they're it, taking it, up a lot of space. And I, I just don't have room, space. unfortunately. If it was a bigger That's place, cool. Yeah. 
everybody was like, oh, that's so sweet. Are you sure? Like people were just like, I, I, don't do this for me. And I'm like, yeah. no, like you're totally fine. Um, and there was two people and I want to say there's a third one too. I might want to say that, but I don't know. Just someone that you see every week, right? <sighs> well, my best friend too, my, my own <laughs> best friend, my best friend, Claudia and my Lucy and my name Marco. Name dropping. Point Sorry. 10. <laughs> he just made the, 10. I know. He does. He does. He the did. The name dropping. I Friday. fucked up and didn't tell them. And my best friend, Claudia came and she was dropping off her kid to her baby daddy and he like wasn't answering or something so i was like fuck or like, she was texting me like i can't get a hold of him whatever and she is like she's like never mind i'm, I'm still coming um but whatever like that she's bringing vince or whatever but she didn't like say that part either so i was just like okay i i, I was also in the baby shower so i was kind of like not really paying attention yeah. and she come i saw her walk in i didn't see her walk out and then i asked them like, where did claudia go and they're like oh she went to go to get her kid and i was like okay cool but i'm like where the fuck was her kid the whole time i was so confused she comes back with her mom so she brought her mom to sit in the car with her kid to come in my baby shower Aww. and i was like i didn't tell you you can bring him and i was like i felt like shit i'm like because at first i look stupid and number two like you went through all of this when you could have just brought your kid and like same applies to marco and lucy and i'm like i didn't fucking tell them so i feel like a jerk ass and yeah, why yeah. because i could have told them like, no, like low key, I give felt, them the choice i i thought i was I upset with the people that brought their them. kids oh. that's what that's what like my point was yeah maybe i'll blame it on them <laughs> i was like what the hell because it worked out for us because we just dropped off my uh, my daughter with my mother-in-law the night before yeah they we were had, out partying all weekend don't feel bad for them yeah, we, yeah they did we they were took out advantage. till like 3 a.m yeah, on saturday <laughs> they so took advantage. yeah i took advantage of it but yeah no that's yeah i mean that's no kids i i totally agree because the type of vibe that your your baby shower was is definitely like a non kid vibe. I didn't think it was. No. I didn't see No, kids because there. of all the like people there, like kids need space to run around. That's yeah. what I'm saying. What a, no, eight, I don't want all these let, kids running dude, around. Dude, let me say something. So tell me, like <laughs> on this baby uh, bringing kids to the thing, I don't blame you, dude. So the day before your baby shower was my sister's baby oh, shower. Oh yeah, you had two. And. Dude, so you know how like that game where, with the chupones, with the pacifiers? Yeah, oh we're my gonna do that. God. So these fucking kids, dude. Um, <laughs> sorry to say kids are fucking in the same sentence, but whatever. <laughs> these kids are over here like kind of like doing whatever they need to do to get these pacifiers. So finally they yeah. all come up to me and they're like, oh, this person, they won because of um, they got all the pacifiers. Yeah. Then that kid leaves. I'm like, all right, I got to get you a gift card after, even though this game wasn't for y'all. This was for the adults. <laughs> yeah, because they took yeah. it more serious. And then, dude, they keep playing the game once I already announced the winner. Well, then let them. Okay, you win. And they keep wanting ranks. to get stuff from me. So, like, to your mm -hmm. point, it's like, yeah, don't bring no kids. Like, fuck I, I just, like, in Marco's head for his wedding, he didn't have kids. Like, I don't want kids at my wedding. I feel like, why? 100%, like, I feel... Like, I'm on the side of, if you have enough time, like, no kids. Like, in our wedding, the only kids that were there were my nieces and nephews because they were part of our wedding party, and it was at my parents' house. So they just, like, literally came, did the thing, and then dipped into the house and were hanging out. Yeah. But, like, other people that are running around, interrupting, like, the cake or the dance or things like that, like, that just seems annoying. What's up, I have an unpopular opinion about What's your that? unpopular opinion? Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, so if, if you guys, you guys know, I have a goddaughter adorable gorgeous cutest thing ever she's oh a yes. toddler right she's she's tiny um so like if i were to get married like now right like mm -hmm. within the next year or so i would have her as like my flower girl mm -hmm. right okay right. however i don't think like little kids and weddings are cute if they're older than like seven or six <laughs> I feel like flower girls are only cute to be flower girls if they're like younger than six. Yeah. Because it's so cute. Like the little ring bearer boy. Like if you're older than that, then you could just be a like one of the other a people. The yeah. Instead, I'll have my grandmas as my flower girls. So I don't have to worry about kids. What if you that don't have cute. grandmas? Well, I have grandmas. Oh, I know. I'm I have saying. two. So they could be my flower girls. That's cute. Yeah, I just I don't think that I don't think flower girls are that cute. <laughs> unless they're <laughs> unless they're like little. The little ones are cute, and nowadays some of them are just so like Bad question, plain. Question for you, but yeah, do you up? think that your opinion is on that is changing as you're having as your daughter's growing up? Like, Absolutely not. No. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I could be like, fuck them kids. They can't come to like the baby but then shower. You have yours, but, but if I have but kids, but not mine. <laughs> like, no, nah, like, like I was truly, out. like I was truly at the baby shower. You can ask Dante. She was sitting next to me. Mm-hmm. I was more upset that like these people brought their kids without asking her. Yeah. Like yeah. that's what I was upset about. Yeah. Not, like, over here boiling, not because boiling. he couldn't. No, like specifically no, sorry, there was like one person who I'm like, I knew you were going to bring your fucking kid. And like, I just had it in the back of my mind. I'm like this person's going to bring their kid. Oh my sorry, God. I feel so bad. I feel I, like I like dis- deceived you guys. I'm <laughs> low-key biased. I told my, my, my sister-in-laws we were in a group chat cause I was sending them like this text message about how I got ki- the kids something for Easter already. Yeah. And I'm like, and we're talking about the baby shower and we're like, if your kid doesn't have these two last names, like in their last name, that oh damn, from. yeah, we're like that's strict. Yeah, like it has to be Rivera Ledes. I mean Rivera Mendoza or Rivera Reyes. If you're gonna well, bring your kid. shit, yeah, like we're biased as fuck. So hey, that happens. So there was also a uh, I was a drama queen. There was almost, there was a drag queen at my baby shower, which mm-hmm. probably wasn't kid friendly either. So I mean, the babies <laughs> loved it. I heard every baby was going crazy in there for the drag queen. <laughs> Nestor was going hard. Nestor was going hard. I was I was just so, supporting my friends. I love it because I wanted this. There was oh, controversy. Yeah, they're my friends. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, he she he, uh, he recommended them to me, and um, there was controversy like. My mom didn't really want them there, not because she didn't want them there for like a particular reason, but she was just like, I don't like get it. And I was like, of course you're not going to get it. Like this isn't for you to get. Traditional. Yeah. I mean, I know like most like moms or like older women, they want like the traditional, like we're going to have tea and like whatever. I'm like, my mom mom loved you. I'll just, my mom loved like, like your theme. Like she, my mom loved it. Like she loved that it was not traditional. Oh! Because, like, I, I agree, too. Like, we love your queen theme. Yeah. It was everything. Instead of, like, the 5,000 baby shower games. And I like couldn't. A, it I was a couldn't. vibe. It was I love cute. your dress. Oh, your <laughs> outfit? Not dress, the no, no, the, the outfit. Peacock. Like, it was so, and I said this, like, 30 times. This is so on brand for Paulina. I love and it. And I love that, like, your wedding was so on brand. Yeah. Your baby shower is on brand. Like, I, f- I love that you're staying true to you and your baby and, like, Aww, you're not doing you. things because it's traditional how people should do it. I I, I love that. That's what made it great. It's a Yeah, like, I thought you. It was, you look good and yeah, look I'm like, oh she, even though it was your baby shower, I'm like, oh she won a battle with the fits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You look really good. You look really Thank good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They, uh, the drag queens were, like, doing their thing, though, and I kept telling my friend Jason, he was next to me, and I was like, "She keeps going for the straights." Yeah. But you said that somebody made a face. Oh, dude, I want your guess. One I love it. Da, 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 da. I, one of your, one I am polarizing. One of your guests was like super homophobic. When they came up, they were like mad, like what, like almost like I can't believe <laughs> she would do I'm this. Sorry, I'm and then I was gonna, I, I was like, just, I'm like. Should we just move the table over and have the, him just have my friends, just the girls, just dance around him? Like, not on him, oh my God. but you just dance in that area because yeah. I want him no, to, like... No, that's too much, though. Like, because I... No. Like, okay, I'm not... I'm, I don't think anything's too much. For no, I, I just think in that sense, like, people have, like, their preferences, right? I'm not, I'm not saying be homophobic. No. Yeah. People have their preferences, and, like, if they're coming into your space to celebrate you and then yeah. you're, like, singling them out just... Because they're uncomfortable, like that's messed up. I don't think. You I don't think. I don't. I don't think it's messed up. I think it's the same thing when, like, like I'm Mexican, right? And the same way, what? I'm Mexican. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> the same way that I've been yeah. in places where people are uncomfortable because there's such a, a thing like that still. Oh, I see. Where people are uncomfortable for you just being Mexican. It's like you. If it's like you, perfect example. You're a very vibrant person. To some people that are more timid, they're going to be uncomfortable by you just being you. But I'm not going to be like, woo! Well, well, no, but no, but sometimes you have to make a point. If they're making a point of making a face like that, then you make no, a point. No, I made it there. My point is made. You're bothered. Me. You're yeah. bothered. That's my point. Okay? Right, I you're mean, bothered. That's I'm chilling. I'm not even thinking about you. Teach his own, but... No, unless that, like, that person got violent or something. Yeah, then, like, unless you like, no... step and I'm say like, something. Away, boy. I'm like, boy. I'm living my best life. Right. No, Who and that's what I was... Th- I knew there was going to be uncomfortable people, whether they're homophobic, <laughs> whether they don't... They know what the fuck's going on mm-hmm. or whatever. And... I'm a polarizing little bitch, so I was like, I love this. I was like, this is like and what it, I want. Like, That's we're what doing I wanted. This, baby G. I wanted it. Right. It wasn't even like it's he your didn't. Day. Yeah. That, yeah, my I wanted friend, it. the the girl, he didn't pull him like he pulled me. I was just like, no, like, yeah, no, but yeah, no. no, he no, wouldn't no, dance on you. Anybody. He, no, right. he wouldn't dance on you, but I 
you know i that's just me i don't know if they would do that but to mm -hmm. me i would yeah. do that just 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 to make a point but then but, but then there's people can. in the world that like they might sw I'm not saying they it's right. Swing on you, they yeah. might swing like on you. Battle. But then, honey, you're not getting your coins. At you a should baby be shower. fancy and getting no, those that's coins. That's not a baby shower. But yeah, you can't maybe lose that, your cool. You can't let them get the one, best of you. Maybe that's me going from one to hundred. Yeah. And I'm you're a little too aggressive. But look at no, actually, <laughs> oh, I've I've always been the type of person that I'm like, like just keep it cute. Like no, don't yeah. overdo it. But I have a group of friends that. They'll make a point out of it. And if you want to fight them, they'll fight you. Like, these are like the Southside gates. You know what I'm saying? And 100%. Me, and to me, like, it's, yeah, it, it's a thing. And to me, game. like, I, I love that for them. You know what I'm saying? And I, I feel like the way that they, yeah, they could probably, like, they see me, they, they, they learn something from me. It's something that I learned from them. But they're professional. The two that we had, your friends, yeah, 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 yeah. they're professionals. Fuck. They were at a baby shower gig. Yeah, like, they yeah, knew, yeah. like, that everyone's gonna be here yeah, and people I feel who like love it who hate being it being in that line of work not everybody's your biggest fan so you're already experiencing you the side eyes of shit. people yeah, yeah like I think that's something that they just like they they brush off probably they brush off and get your money get maybe your it's point. me trying to protect them you know yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah absolutely there's nothing wrong with that and there's nothing yeah. wrong with that you probably no it's not you it's probably like, seen and you, heard shit fuck you back no, well kidding. necessarily I was sitting next to you and Tati like I'm not the biggest like fan. No, Marco. Of, I was just like, <laughs> I was gonna say I don't that, get it like, at all. Marco, like, 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 oh, oh, no, no, can we talk or... about? Oh, no. Go Wait, ahead. I want to hear because I, I wasn't by you guys. No, so like when they came out, like Lucy got up, I yeah, got Lucy up, got Nestor up. got up, like we all got up to see, and like he is a hundred feet tall, so obviously he just has to stand and not do anything to see. His, and we're standing up, he's like, Nah, I'm good. Like. He, did, he was like, I don't want to see that. Like, I don't think. He, what did you mean by that? Like, it doesn't just, interest that me. That like, wasn't to me, his entertainment. And that's he okay. Was well, yeah, I, I, like, I respect it. As but, long as, yeah. yeah he wasn't talking cool. shit about that. He wasn't being disrespectful. Being disrespectful. He was just like, I don't. Like, across the, I don't across care the see table it. on the other side, they're like the macho men who are like, fuck it. Like, no, I wasn't doing that. And you know what? They were like drinking, like, oh no, fuck this. I'm like, take another shot. Right. Can I say something? Honestly, Beef. I'm like not the type of like person in the community that would like they're my friends you know they come yeah. and cut their hair with me yeah um and stuff like that but I'm not somebody that watches just like fun fact I'm not somebody that is watching RuPaul you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying yeah. Yeah. so like Fair. but yeah. I respect the 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 art the yeah. way that they respect my art you of know course. what I'm saying and so, like, I get you in that sense. But there's a difference between him not being interested in it yeah. and then him being, like, a fucking dick. Oh, exactly. Oh, that's what we're saying. That's what I'm saying. The yeah. way that he guy was, 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 you know no, what I'm saying? big difference. Like, Marco was wasn't Lucy talking shit. See, yeah. He was just like, oh, we're going. And he's like, no, nah, I'm good. You guys go. Like, I was I'm, like, Lucy, I was like, babe, I'm get good. closer if you want to see. Yeah, you guys go see. there were so see. many people. It's just yeah. he, he wasn't interested. That's kind of like, for example, like, if we were to go something and it's like, oh, my God, we're all going to go mini golf. And I'm like. I'm good. Like I'll, I'll watch y'all. Exactly. I don't like mini golfing. I'm not gonna talk shit about you and guys I, mini golfing. Yeah. But, but I'm like, I'm good. I'm gonna go. You know, get a but, slushy or something. And I knew. Yeah. At the same time, like I'm not hating on them. Like, yeah. They're, they're no, it's just Marco. Are. are you preference? No, I'm just kidding. It's, I love no, the gays. It's a preference. No, Lesbians love me too. That's I right. knew Lucy? that that was gonna like ruffle feathers. That's and why you wore the feather <laughs> looking. Yeah, that's, that's why I wore ruffles? feathers. Your that's why feathers you wore the were ruffles. definitely ruffling. No, they were ruffles. Not I feathers. did that ruffles. shit on purpose, but like I wanted it. And I think that's why my mom was like also questioning it too, because she like knew there were people there. I think there was one guest, she didn't come, who, because my mom's got a big ass mouth and I love her, but she told a couple people, I'm like, why are you telling people what I'm doing? Like, you know what I mean? That's why there was no room. And, and, <laughs> she, and she told one person who said, like, oh, if she does that, she's, I'm not going. And I was like, that's okay. completely your oh, and she didn't an go. Seat. And she didn't go? No, she didn't. Well, that was a good thing. It there you go. That would have been more packed. And it's like, I can never, if you tell me you're going to do a fucking pig roast at your wedding and I don't support that, I'm a vegan, why the fuck would I tell you? I'm, I'm not going to stand go. there to watch the pig roast, but I'm going to be there. Right. Like you could choose to separate yourself yes. in an event with something without being like, yeah. I don't even, I don't know the word for that. Petty? something it, yeah it, to me it's so like, weird it's about me it's about the baby it's not about the drag queens that's long, just what i yes. choose as entertainment if i was doing like i don't know like dog cage fighting or something by all means be okay like, you're yeah fucking no that's weird <laughs> i'm not going to that Th no but i'm not hurting not anybody cool. i would never do that um yeah, like hurting anybody or doing any harm it's like you're just and, weird i love you're the fact that weird. i love the fact that in your baby shower you're very you were very intentional 
And I think that's <laughs> and I think that's beautiful. Yeah. I think that's oh, very beautiful. Yeah. Oh, super. And like you said, my mom looked at you. What'd you say? Oh, how'd you even get to my mom? I'm like, she well, I was you? walking around because I went outside to take a couple phone calls. And I know. He kept going out for phone calls. I'm like, it's family day, remember? I still oh, take fam- phone calls. These guys on Sundays, are family bro. days. Uh, I went outside and one time, like, I saw your mom. She said hi to me. And it was after the the drag show. And she's like, What are we going to have for the first the birthday? Strippers? He's like, The what do I call it? I was like, Marta, whatever you want, man. I mean, whatever Paulina wants for the first birthday. I love her. I thought she was going to, like, have a more of a fit after. Because, like, I, I don't, not that she didn't want it, but she just was just like, I don't know if this is a good idea type thing. And I'm like, Oh, it's a great idea. So, like, <laughs> but, like, after it, she was like, just, she looked at me and just, like, like laughed and then kind of, like, moved on with her day and i was like good well i think it's also like you know she's traditional and her group is a little traditional so that's yeah. kind of like she was like what is this going same thing with like she doesn't the, know what it was though the other she side of the table they're like uh <laughs> what the fuck and like my in-law too like i like i don't know if she was crazy about it in the beginning when she heard about it yeah but she, they had a great time with yeah. it their table was like in, and it was a, a straight guy there too and he i love his uncle roman like he was giving cash mm-hmm. and stuff and it, i was like watching them yeah your uncles are very yeah uh, they're they're, they're uh, your uncles are your in-laws, yeah. they're, they're a good time. They're very the nice. The in-laws, people. yeah, my yeah. in-laws are a really good time. So I was like happy about that. Back to like the Martha thing. Yeah. I just got your theme for her first birthday. Throw right. them ones because she's one. <laughs> and like you do oh. get strippers and then you just throw ones like for the one. first Baby birthday. G, man. Baby I G. Throw the ones up. Dude, I would like that. Make it Love rain. It. Yeah, I might get disowned. Well, I don't know. And you know what? It's crazy too. That could be the after. Like, I know you, the straights were like making their faces and side eye bullshit, whatever. But like, none of that even bothers me because, and I think the only person's opinion that I cared about was Javi, my husband. Yeah. And he didn't want that either. He was just like, I don't, again, I don't get it. He's like, and it wasn't no hate. He was just like, I just like don't get how it goes with a baby shower. Because traditionally it doesn't, right? But he would look, he, when I, I made eye contact when it was over, he was across the room. He had a drink and he just like smiled at me and goes like, all right. And I was like, I'm clear. And that's all I cared about. You know, I mean, it went with the theme. It was 100%. queen theme. And it wasn't bad. It was so painless. Like, yeah. chill out. They weren't wearing anything like, like no, no top yeah. with X's on their nipples. <laughs> like they at the end of the, the day, they're performers and that's all. That's it was. all it was. That's exactly that's what all it is. It they was. were entertainment. And I party. loved it. And I have some no people get jugglers. Problem. Clowns, jugglers. <laughs> this is my clown juggler. This is your clown juggling uh, face I wouldn't painting. Say that. Honestly, they were iconic and it went so good. I wish my stupid speaker was louder. I know. I heard that a couple oh, times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the only thing, but I mean it's it was so iconic. Yeah, it was yeah. good. I have they the cutest video of you like Honestly dancing. the reaction like if, if it was like not the crowd for it, the reaction could have been worse from the crowd, and I don't think it was. Mm-hmm. I loved it, people loved it. They were like either confused or they loved it, but that was it. And that's yeah. okay. Yeah. Literally. That's okay. I'd be confused too if I just saw someone random dancing around. I'm like, oh, we're doing this. But I, I love that shit though. And I think as you guys are coming together, your your families, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> it is actually showing people who you are, a part of who you are. Because they're yeah. used to just probably seeing like a lot of Javi. The and traditional so, Mexican. Yeah. So, a hundred percent. And like as traditional and as Mexican as they are, <laughs> they also though are like a good time you know they could party they could party i know i remember them in vegas party they could party and i that's what i love about them you know and i always wanted a family like that so i'm happy and i think that's why too like (coughs) i think they're just used to me just doing the fucking most you know i think they're used to like that because javi is the complete opposite of me if you guys know (laughs) me Mm-hmm. Like this man is so quiet. And he's almost the complete opposite of his own family, right? Well, that's Do you what, know how many times yeah. I told him how many times I'm like, what did I see in the car yesterday? I was like, I was like, your parents, his, his parents, I mean, so like his mom and dad mm-hmm. are like always like the last two standing at any party. Mm-hmm. Like it's four in the morning, lampshade on your head. Like that's them. Like they are yeah. the last ones. And I looked at him and I'm like, how are you their kid? Yeah. And he's like, I don't fucking know. Yeah. And I'm like, you're like the opposite he of He was them. probably the kid that was sleeping on the chairs at all these yes. parties and he was over it. So he's like, I'm not going to do this. That's what he said. He's like, I used to have to wait for them all the time. Yeah, he was the kid sleeping at yeah. the party. And just, yeah, yeah that's- It all makes oh, sense. Poor Javi. I love them. No, they're great though. So hopefully like there's more and you guys know we bought a house. So yeah. I can't Yay. wait to have you guys Summer. there. It's going to be a party. We're, we're doing something this weekend, no? And your ho- oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! I'm 
yeah. Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Sound bath. I was like, I wasn't no, about, oh yeah, no, no, yeah, on Sunday. I just remember now because no, yeah, I'm like, Sunday. I was telling my friend, I'm like, I have something to do this weekend. Yeah, good. Sunday, what is 11 a.m. If you okay. guys want to come, a. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have a sound bath meditation. You just lay on your yoga mat and you, oh, I need your that. brain waves are like, oh, I need that. It's wild, and then we'll have some like little brunch after after it oh yum hey. yeah it'll be fun it's just like i do it every year for either valentine's day or um the new year's new year's eve whatever oh perfect so this year I valentine's day nice. so a little love it's gonna be awesome so i, I need that see you guys so oh. no beef then we're good marco yeah beef, good. Is, beef, <laughs> beef is with everybody else beef yeah. with all the other ones i love though that you had my back where you thought they were all the a-holes <laughs> No, 100% I did. I was like, what the fuck? These people are jerks. Like, I actually was. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I love was- that you. he did have your back. And I love that you guys had my back when, for my affirmation. I love that we have each other's backs. Each other's backs all day. Like, we no got one each has my back. back. We, well, it you're, it's too high. Right. <laughs> we got your cap. I can't, I can't read. Lucy I got, does. I got your Lucy cap. We got your cap. Back. Lucy, yeah. Lucy has we got your, your bottom. You're too tall. <laughs> It's we too got far your up bottom? there. Oh, damn. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. I said Whoa. calf. Oh, I said calf. Said. Y'all heard it. I said she calf. She has a butt cheek. Um, all right, guys. Thank you for listening to another episode and for following us always. Um, um, you can follow me at Paulina Rowe. You can follow me at Talk With Tati. Me at The Bra Bro. Yes, and at Never Too Shy Pod on the gram. Follow us. Get that followership up. Let's go. Yes, Bye. and we'll talk to you oh, soon. Oh, wait. Sorry. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.